Hello everybody! Today I'll be showing you how to make your own bird feeder. What you need to do is get your materials ready and follow along step by step. Make sure you're following any safety rules for this activity. When you're done, you'll have your, made your own bird feeder that you can watch birds eat out of. I'll show you my finished product. It's pretty impressive. Now, who's ready to start? The wood glue that is included in your kit can irritate skin. Please be careful when using it. In case it does touch your skin, rinse well with water. In case of eye contact with the glue, rinse well with water for 10 minutes. Alright, now that that's out of the way, let's really get started. Now, step one, start by laying out your six popsicle sticks next to each other. This is going to be the bottom of the bird feeder. So you got to make sure they're all nice and lined up so the base can be nice and even. Perfect. Step two, you want to glue two sticks across the six base sticks towards the end of each side of the sticks. This will be what holds your base together. So, I'll take one stick here. Boom. Glue it like that. Make sure there's a little bit of gap on the end, about an inch or so. Do it on the other side, boom, just like that. Then take your wood glue and just glue it on. Just like that for both sides. Try to make sure to line it up. Perfect. There you go. Now, there's step three. You want to add glue to the four corners of the popsicle sticks you placed in step two. You want to place two new popsicle sticks on the top of the opposite ends. Now, one thing you need to keep in mind is it takes a little bit for the glue to dry, so be careful when adding new layers to not shift everything around, because the bottom layers will still be drying. So what you want to do, just little dots, little dots, dots, little dots, perfect. Right on here. And then another one right up here. Perfect. There you go. For the perch where the bird is going to land, you'll add glue to the middle of a popsicle stick and then glue it to the middle of the one of the popsicle sticks you just placed. The perch should stick out from the bird feeder like a landing strip. So, you can pick either side, it's really up to you. I'm going to pick the one in the front here. Add another little drop of the glue. Take a little popsicle stick, have it hang out there, push it down. Perfect. There we go. Now, step four, continue gluing the sticks around the outside of the bird feeder, rotating between opposite ends. Stop when you have just four of the popsicle sticks left. So, again, do little dabs on the corner. And dots onto these ones. Just like this. And keep going till you have four left. Now that we only have the four popsicle sticks left, we want to add two of them onto the same row that you last placed the same direction. That might sound a little confusing, but I'll show you here. Then you want to add the remaining two sticks onto your feeder on the opposite ends of the last two popsicle sticks. Um, 
So what we're doing here is we're creating a little gap for you to put the twine through to actually be able to hang up the bird feeder. So um, what you can do is you could stack two this way if you wanted to. You could do it this way. It's entirely up to you. What I'm going to do is I'm going to stack the two onto here. I'm going to make sure to glue them down though. Just plop, 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 plop. Place this one down. Place this one down. Perfect. Now, as I said in the second part of the instructions, you essentially want to keep doing the same pattern. Place them across like this. And perfect. There you go. That was step five. On to step six. Once this is all dry, pull a strand of twine that should be included through the gap in the sticks at each corner of your feeder. Tie the twine around the popsicle stick. Continue this for all four corners. So I have one of the twine here. And remember how we cre created that gap? Right in here. So we're gonna want to put the twine through that then tie it up. Now, into the gap you just made, uh, you want to put it through. Pull this all the way through in one of the corners. Try to equal out the twine. And you want to go ahead and now tie it up. Now with the twine through, you're going to create a little knot. So you want to create a little hoop like this. Pull it through. Then pull it tight. Nice, nice, nice and tight. Be careful, you don't want to move the popsicle stick or with your super strength, you don't want to break it. Now, you want to create exactly again a little loop like that, putting the two together, put it through, tight again, and voila. Perfect. Now, you want to continue this for all four. Now, Quickly, before we move on to step seven, I'd recommend to color on to your bird feeder as before you hang it up, you want to make it look pretty for the birds. Obviously, you don't have to if you don't want to, but just like I did here, you take marker, pencil, crayon, whatever, go ahead and just color it on. Make it nice and pretty. This is the perfect opportunity if you wanted to do it. You could pause the video real quick or do it after this. And then we could continue on with step seven. Welcome back. Now that we're on to step seven, we could quickly show off the little colored art. Perfect. Now, step seven. You want to tie each side of the twine to each other to create loops to hang the feeder. If your knots are not staying, you can carefully add a dot of glue to your knot to make it hold. Once your loops have been made, you can decorate and color your bird feeder. Now, similar to what we did earlier, you want to take the two ends, you want to create a loop, pull it through, You want to keep pulling, then into the other loop, pull it on through, and perfect. Now that this is tied up, we can move on to the other side. Perfect. Do the loop again, put it through, perfect. Here we go. Now both ends are tied up. As I mentioned earlier, if your knots aren't staying, you can take a little bit of the glue and glue it on to the popsicle sticks. That's why I recommend you do all your drawing now. Perfect, good job. 
Perfect, we're almost done. Now on to step eight. Inside of your bird feeder, you want to put bird seed. Remember, you want to make sure that it's completely dry before you put it outside. Then, you can hang it up outside with the loops, and you're ready to go to enjoy watching the birds. Did you guys have fun? I know I did. I hope you enjoyed making the bird feeder with me today. Take care, everyone.